Thank you. Thank you, Oliver and Atmes, for introducing me for a nice intro. I think, yeah. How many of you heard about ChatGPT? That's a good number. And how many of you have tried for a right cause, ChatGPT? Okay. ChatGPT is a language model chatbot which has remarkable, uh, a remarkable ability of interacting in conversational dialogue forms. It also provides the feedback and also uh, responses surprisingly as human. Okay, what is GPT stands for? Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Generative, it generates the text, okay, pre-trained. It has enormous, huge amount of data already saved in it. And Transformer, it's a new architecture technique which solves sequence to sequence problems or tasks while handling the complexity of different uh, different complexity with ease. There is a new tech, like it's not a new, but there is a more uh, techniques mainly called artificial intelligence, uh, which is fine tuning and uh, reinforcement of uh, learning with human feedbacks. We will. I, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. First, let's come back to the Chat GPT. Chat GPT was created by a San Francisco-based company called Open Artificial Intelligence. They're already famous for Dell E model. Dell E model uh, was developed, and it is very famous. What it does, it actually takes the text instructions and it converts the text instructions to digital forms and now they have come up with this chat gpt and chat gpt was launched to public in 30th uh, on 30th november 2022 it has reached 100 million users in just span of two months so which is the fastest uh, growing app in the history ever. We are going to talk like what is the main difference, what is the key differentiator when you are searching in existing platforms and chat GPT. When you search any keywords or anything in the existing Google platform or anything else the existing already which you know uh, the search engines it suggests you to diff go through navigate through different other web pages and there are chances that it would you will uh, pop up with uh, many advertisements whereas chat GPT it is more personalized and also conversational if you until unless you get that information if you un, you understand it you keep on asking it's a conversational model that you can also do the self studies with it key features of the uh, chat gpt mainly it is really useful for the software like you can you can search from simple uh, softwares to uh, complex uh, softwares like Python or JavaScripts, and it will. The beauty of it is it also explains it. It also gives the algorithms we call the functionalities, the syntaxes, and uh, without many compilation errors, and also like write essays and poems and uh, many more of course mathematics still it is on a surface level so some features are not advanced yet 
maybe like you may not be doing triple integration with it, but but the rest of the features are definitely useful. It can translate the text into any many different languages. For example, if you are translating the text in other search engines, it has a limit, whereas ChatGPT has a length of like a huge amount of length in it. It can translate uh, much quantity. Okay, limitations of ChatGPT. The main limitation, it is not uh, like, okay, now um, it is not, it does, it do not have access from the internet. Like it, it is showing the results from the saved data where I said fine tuning, I'm going to talk uh, in my next, I'm going to talk very soon, but like the main feed, the, the main drawback of ChatGPT, it cannot search from the real time updates. Suppose, uh, because it is artificial intelligence hallucination, uh, suppose if you search who is the Prime Minister of UK, it will still tell you the ex Prime Minister because uh, it also shows you that the information on that particular task is saved only on, I think, uh, September 2021. So uh, sometimes the information might be wrong. So it is, it does, it, it do not give the same uh, depth of the information. So which is a major drawback right now. And uh, now it is free, maybe soon it might become paid as well. Uh, already some extra advanced features are paid now. Uh, usages of ChatGPT in educational institutes. There are already a lot of fears in educational communities of uh, cheating or writing the assignments with easily or like uh, giving the homeworks, like using uh, it on a, uh, okay, it can be a time saving environment, but there are a lot of fears. Even though there are a lot of fears, right approach to chat GPT can avoid many, many fears because it is end of the day, it is also useful as a strong tool for brainstorming the learning, learning patterns. You can, uh, as I said, you can do the self studies. You can, uh, it is very interactive and conversational uh, platform so that like until unless you get it, you keep repeating your questions and then it will give you the explanations. And of course, it's not one direction. It is wide range of variety ideas and uh, uh, you can, you can, uh, at the same time, you have to judge how much uh, you have to rely on it. So it is useful uh, to give you a creative ideas, more creative ideas, but then if you, you have to judge if you're really using it uh, for your, if it is really related or if you're, you're really using it on a right path or not. It can also give you the structured uh, patterns of emails or like lesson plans and lesson objectives or decorative themes or party themes or many, many, more, many more features you might have tried already. Uh, I wanted to talk about what is this reinforcement learning with human feedback. This is the main, uh, main technique behind the artificial intelligence, which is like the artificial intelligence trainers, they train this platform using, they acted as, uh, they, they played both the roles, 
they acted as trainees as well as the users so uh, how how does it work mainly this technique works from the uh, it improves the quality taking the feedback from the users that's the reason the more you use it the quality it uh, the more quality it gives it is also called fine tuning technique suppose if you're uh, if you're writing an algorithm or uh, some uh, syntaxes or functionalities uh, to find an object if it, if that object is a car or not then we write some layers uh, of uh, coding and then if you want to change that complexity to a little bit same we keep the same such structure but if you want to change it if the object is truck or not instead of car you can take out few layers and you can add the new layers it is called fine tuning it is more about neural networks and uh, how artificial intelligence the intelligence works so this is the major technique behind this chat gpt and oh i want to go back but i'm sorry because i did not we did talk about it's okay i will do it okay what could come next what what is most important as a user that we can expect the safety and security if you are giving any personal information or if you are giving any uh, organizational information and it, you, if you are asking for any suggestions or help maybe like it should not supposed to save your data the the moment you log out we expect that it should also erase the data which is not happening right now so uh, what could be better is like safety and security and also ever since the microsoft bought it they are doing lot of uh, um, updates the latest update if i remember two weeks back la, la, last last monday that you can also connect the chat gpt to the 3d printers and it will write the notes for you so of course it will you know, even if it is writing the minutes of meeting and all you can also write it can also write the notes automatically when you connect the 3d printers so all such things uh we have they have to still improve of course they are updating a lot day by day first it used to be um, unilingual it used to be only in english and uh it used to uh only translate or uh, transfers the searches the information it used to search the information only in english now it is available in many many different languages so what have you ever tried the chat gpt for software purposes or coding or mathematics or biology or chemistry or science any one of you no okay uh i suggest you have to because it is also at the end of the day self learning it is as i said it is very interactive like it will explain you until unless you are really satisfied with your question or if you really get it uh you you can you can uh you can respond or feedback or it responds to you back as as if you are talking with a human yes it has low disadvantages when you compare with the advantages it is always more so uh, it, it is in your hands how wisely you use it uh, at the end of the day it can't take the human creativity or interpersonal skills we we of course it is going to be the future few be it's going to 
take more in the future you have to judge and decide how rightly you can use it